Hello and welcome to today's videos on how to install Exchange 2016 on Windows Server 2012 R2. So this is the lab design which we are using for this demonstration. We have a two Windows Server 2012 R2 box. On the first, we have activated domain service installed and configured with DNS server. And on a second box, this is the member server of our domain mylab.local. On that server, we are planning to install Exchange 2016. In the first part of this video series, we already installed all the required prerequisites on this server and now this server is ready to install Exchange 2016. If you are installing the first Exchange 2016 server in the organization and the Active Directory preparation steps have not been performed, the account you use must have a membership in the Enterprise Administrators groups. If you haven't previously prepared the Active Directory schema, the account must also be a member of the Schema Admin group. So on this server, already I log in as a administrator privilege and that is the administrator of our root domain. So we have a sufficient privilege to install Exchange Server 2016 on this box. So let's open my computer and on an E drive, already uh, copy the setup files of Exchange 2016 and let's launch the setup. On the check for update page, select whether you want uh, setup to connect to the internet and download the product and security update for Exchange 2016. For this demonstration, I am not going to download the updates right now and just select don't check for update right now, click on next. Once the setup is finished, copying files on the copying file page, go ahead. The introduction page gives additional guidance for the installation procedure. Review the content and click on next to continue. On the license agreement page, review the terms. If you agree to the terms, select I accept the terms in the license agreement and then click on next. On the recommended settings page, select whether you want to enable or disable the exchange error resolution and feedback feature. The options will either enable or disable automatically check for resolution for any error that occurs while the setup is running. So for this demonstration, I will select to use recommended settings and then click on next to continue. On the server role selection page, choose what server role you want to install, whether to install mailbox role, management tools or age server role. For this lab, I will select mailbox role and note that age and mailbox server cannot be installed on the same server. If any windows prerequisites are needed for the setup, select automatically install windows server rules and features that are required to install exchange server. You already install all these required uh, prerequisites, but uh, if you forget any of them, you can select this checkbox. It will help to install these missing prerequisites to install exchange server 2016. Click on next to proceed. On the installation space and location page, either accept the default installation location or click on browse to choose a new location. Click on next to continue. So this is the first exchange server which we are deploying in our organization. That's why it is first time it is going to ask you the organization name. We are going with a default name, first organization and then click on next. If installing the mailbox role, a malware protection settings page will appear. Choose whether to enable or disable malware scanning and then click on next. So for this demonstration, I will select no and then click on next. On the readiness checks page, view the status of determine if the organization and the server rule prerequisites check completed successfully or not. If it is unsuccessful, perform the required task and click back and next to run the readiness check again. If it is successful, then click on install to proceed. So click on install. Now the installation process will take some time to complete and when it's done, I will come back again. Once the setup completes installing all the components, the setup completed page will be displayed. Click on finish as a best practice, restart the server which you perform the installation. So click on close and let's close the server manager and let's restart the server. Other plan and click on continue. So once your computer restarts, let's again log in as a administrator. Now I just installed the Exchange 2016 successfully on Windows Server 2012 R2. That's it for this demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.